What is up you guys? Today we are talking about some tech slings. I've got like, I don't know, like eight or 12 or something of these things to show you here. They are slings, right? Do you know what a sling is? Here's a great example, a smaller one from Air, right? Where it's like an over the shoulder, just have what you need kind of thing. Now, what you need is different than what I need is different than what she or he or they need, right? So what makes a good tech sling? Well, first and foremost, what makes a good tech sling is knowing what you need. For example, I tend to always have a water bottle with me and I end up using this one. So sometimes when I need a big, a big sling, like it's gotta be able to fit this thing. And other times I just need a small, like here's my little like smoke pack. I've got some cannabis tools. I've got some tobacco tools in here. I do some, some kind of like ceremonial uses of these things. Listen, we'll get into that later maybe. Not in this video, but in another time. I like like having this thing with me. This fits into a tiny little package, right? Or sometimes I've got, I'm doing the family thing. I need my camera. Sometimes I want my field note. In fact, these two together are sort of what I always have with me. But what about your phone or a tablet or like your glasses or like maybe your Nirvana cords that you just want to ohm out to? Or some minimal Bluetooth headphones or whatever. I like that I'm mentioning like the crystals and the tobacco and people are like, what am I watching? Don't, don't worry about it. We're not getting into that shit today. We're gonna get into a bunch of tech slings, fanny packs and things like that, that you can use from day to day. And let's start getting into it. We can talk about the details over time. Hey guys, really quick, I just wanna say that I'm going to be collecting and updating these pouches and these, these slings and, th and fanny packs over time. And I can't really keep doing them in videos, right? So I've got a blog post in the link in the description below where I'm gonna kind of be listing out my favorite ones over time, make sure you check that blog post to see if I've added anything since doing this video. And also, I'm not showing you my favorite of this whole thing until the very end. So, you know, look forward to that hint, waxed canvas. Okay, so I actually wanna talk about the biggest one first. We'll go from big to small, all right? So this one's from 3V. This thing is probably really affordable. Let me look up the price. Yeah, this is their Shift Urban Sling and it comes in at like 40 bucks. Okay, what makes it a sling is that we've got one over the shoulder guy like this. Now, when it's on, let me lower this down. When it's on, this is the biggest footprint basically of all of them except for the next one. So I know it's hard to see with black on black, but that's sort of what we're going for. Okay, so it's it's what's cool about it is is you've got a very laissez-faire, chill, like this isn't a big bag, I'm not thinking about much, I just got like whatever I need on me. And yet, you can fit a ton of crap and organize a bunch of crap. Like you have a front panel here, that's just organization, another pocket here, another pocket here, just that's where my, that's where my crystals are gonna go. Then you actually have like capacity on this bag. This is one of the only ones I could actually fit my 12 inch MacBook Pro in. This is my, this is like my mom's old <laughs> iPad. I don't use this guy. I wish I had the MacBook Pro that was, or the, the, the iPad Pro that was smaller than this. So, cause this doesn't fit into anything, but it does fit right into there. Which is, by the way, like, what a lifestyle when you get to just like head to the cafe with this and you've got your Mac, your iPad Pro, which is like my MacBook Pro. I've got the keyboard on there is amazing. I've got the pencil. I can do whatever I need to and get all my work done in that environment and then come back. Anyways, I'm getting lost on that. Okay, here's my MacBook Pro just for shits and giggles. It basically, it does fit just basically right in there. So a 15 inch. MacBook Pro fits right in there. Now, couple challenges on this bag for me. Number one, we've got a very tactical look, which to me, I really don't wanna be mistaken as like a field medic. Needing, like people are just like, oh look, there's someone with an army bag. Can you do an emergency tracheotomy? I personally don't do the tactical very much. And I know, and maybe that's like a, maybe that's not a, like I don't mean that in any obligatory or bad, bad sort of way. Is obligatory the right word? Definitely not the right word. What uh, obligatory means like mandatory, by the way. But what I mean is, is uh, some of you might be offended by the word tactical. I, I hope you're, you're not. Because to me, as someone who designs and looks at bags and thinks about them all the time, I'm like, oh yeah, I brand this immediately as tactical, right? Especially since my second problem on this bag 
is it's not like it's it's not like extremely extremely well made, right? Some things I've gotten used to a look like this being really well made in the Go Ruck bags or something like that. This at forty dollars is like a super budget version with tons of pockets and accessories and all that stuff, and it feels not all that bad, right? Like so, it's a very affordable tool to get you into that thing. For me, it's not quite the right look. It's a little too bro-y, tactical. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, here is the air, like air, <laughs> I don't know what they call this thing. Okay, this is their travel sling and it comes in at 110 bucks. So a lot more expensive than that other one. And we're kind of going in the other direction. This is very Kenneth Cole, isn't it? It's very like turtleneck. It's very uh, sort of, sort of sophisticati. All right, and it's also, but at the same time, it's just it's just minimal, it's simple, right? It's sort of messenger baggy, it's nice. It's a, it's like, it feels good on, it's definitely feels like a more high quality feel because um, our ballistic nylon has this very anti-scratch, like very tear resistant quality to it. You've got, uh, you got a little strap, by the way, I should uh, try to remember to, to mention all the details. I, I wanna show you all these bags and maybe I won't go as deep as possible into every one, otherwise this would be like a 100 minute video. So for our strap here, this one's nice because you've got this like quick release. This is, this is interesting in these slings. How this thing, you know, you attach it and then you can cinch it up, how quickly you can remove it like that and get it get it gentle. They use a little D-ring. I've seen this on the Metro Monger as well. They use like a little like D-ring that just is, so you're not like, so you're cinched in there, but you can, I don't know, you really kind of can't pull it out. It's amazing how sturdy and, and stiff that can just like hold this in. So I like these that have the, uh, you know, you can kind of do that thing. Then you gotta click it together again because you don't want to carry it around with like floppity doppities. Okay, so let's check this baby out. You've got a pocket on the front, okay, with some organization inside. Little bit of organization inside. Can you see that there? Just got some pens and a couple little pouches, right? So this is where all of my glasses, maybe my cell phone would end up getting thrown in here with my notebook. Right, I just throw that stuff in there. And now I've got, I mean, it's so nice to go nothing in your pockets, you know what I mean? Here's one little snag I'm running into. My my glasses are a little bit taller than this thing. So my glasses will probably have to come out and just float around in there. That's why I put them in the case. So it's not a very deep, like not very, it's a very tall pocket that way. But it's extremely wide so you can fit a ton of crap in there. Then you have this, oh look, this little quick access pocket right here on the top, almost forgot because it's so it's minimal. So my glasses can, easily go right in there. I mean, God, it's like a little secret apartment for it. And then you have this guy, which is your main, your main business here. Now, another one that basically wishes it could fit the 15 inch laptop and just about does, but it's like right at the, right at the edge. So your 15 inch, my 15 inch MacBook Pro is there and it's not, too bad to get it closed. Like it definitely fits. It's right at the edge, but it definitely fits. So like as a daily carry for a sling when you need your 15 inch laptop and that's it, like what a delight. And then there's some other organization in there, okay? Can you see here? We've got some, uh, a place for, look at this, business papers, man. Let's lift this up here. We've got a place for our business papers. We've got some, like lots of organization. They kind of went like, they kind of went nuts with this really nice mesh, like in that it's thick and rigid and it's gonna, it's gonna break in over time, I think, really lovely. And you can see what's in that pocket. You've got a pouch over here. You can easily fit your uh, MacBook Pro charger. I'm putting my, I, all of this stuff fits right in there, including my water bottle, da da da. Okay, so I mean, like being able to fit my water bottle in one of these things, like obviously the 3V gear, I could. A lot of the ones that we're going to see in the in the future on this video will not be able to do that. So this Air Tech Sling is, uh, or Air Travel Sling is definitely like high marks for being able to do sort of all the things. And then the size on it, I'm 5'10", 190 pounds. So, uh, and it looks kind of like, it looks kind of okay on me. You know, the size is like, 
sort of good. And I do like this like sort of quick release on that. Should mention there's also some some compression straps or um, sling straps down here so you can like, you know, you got your tripod or you're throwing your jacket right in there. Anything on the outside, that stuff is really helpful when you have a minimal sling like this. You know, this is totally doable for me as a daily carry. Um, for a lot of you, this is probably doable as a daily carry when you just need your laptop or your iPad and your handful of stuff. Very interesting bag from tech, uh, from air. I know a lot of you are gonna be interested in it. I'll put a link in the description to all of these bags below on some of them like this one. If you dig it and you purchase and use my link, it's like buying me a beer. You don't have to do that. If this video, if you like hate me and hate this video, then don't do it. But on the other, on the other hand, if you liked this, if this is helping you figure out which one of these to get, please use my link in the description and I'll be like, cheers. Okay, now we're talking about the Peak Designs. This thing is amazing because I love this like quick release. The way that they did this quick release thing feels way better than all the others I'm gonna show you today, right? They just have this amazing way with customizing and, and creating their their like peripherals or components like this and it just feels so good. And that's a little interaction that you're gonna do every time with this bag. I love the thin minimal strap, but it does have enough padding. It definitely feels better than the other. I mean, those, those have big thick padding, so it's not bad. I like the thinness of this because it's a small little bag that you can use for a lot of shit. Okay, this is made with their Kodra fabric. No, it's not Cordura. People in the comments are always like, dude, it's Cordura. No, this is Kodra, K-O-D-R-A. It's water resistant. There's padding built in all around the bag. So whatever you put in here is being protected. Now, unlike the other two, you cannot fit a laptop, a, a, a the 15 inch in here. You could probably fit I know you could fit an 11 inch. I don't know if you can fit a 12 inch, all of the, or 13 inch. I think all of this is available information on their website. I wanna show you what this is like to use. And let's just start with this main pocket where you can see these little things flopping around in here. You can completely customize what is going on in here. So check this out. This is a funny one. My, la my, my, I know that my, I've used this bag quite a bit before. My water bottle does not fit like this, so I have to put it at an angle. So I set up one of those little dividers just to keep that where it is. So that way I can throw my camera in here. I can throw my pouch right next to that. And then I've got some space on the front to put some other stuff. Okay, really extensible these guys, including the ability to basically you put this in the bag like this, right? And then you've got a flap that can come down. So you've just created a pocket below and a pocket above, like for setting up tech, like camera stuff, drone gear, anything like that. These things are killer. Front of the bag, we do have some compression straps and uh, you know things that you can lash your stuff onto them with. And then you also have this pouch, this pocket. When you release those compression straps all the way, you've got way more space in here than it looks. So it expands out another bunch right here, okay? And inside of here, you've got a couple, I think this is Nywool felt feeling stuff. The materials on the inside of this is, are just second to none. They really, Peak does a killer job with this. And then you've also got some stuff up at the top here, okay? The um, the like li these little elastic guys and just like I mentioned in a previous video, these two have like black stitching and these two have like red stitching so you can create your own little, like here's the empty batteries and here's the full one or something because they're perfect size for camera batteries. And just in case I didn't show this previously, there is a laptop, a dedicated sort of laptop tablet place. Let me see if my, I don't remember if my 12 inch fits in here. It's like right at the level, so it does. My 12 inch MacBook Pro fits right in there and you see how the lip, the top lip just kind of like comes right over perfectly. It's almost like it was designed just for that. So this guy is absolutely killer. My only cons on this are the way it looks. It's very techy, it's very Elon Musk. I tend to prefer personally something a little more wax canvas, organic-y, right? This is, uh, this is a, a bag for the future. This is a future bag. By the way, they make this like camera capture clip that you can easily clip onto either side here so you could literally have your camera just like clipped onto the outside of the bag. Beautiful, amazing stuff from uh, from Peak. This is their 10 liter sling bag. 
dig it. Now that one does come in at like 150 bucks. So you're paying for all those features, but it's the sort of thing. What I love about that bag is like, you get that thing, it's totally customizable, um, and you're gonna, like, it's not gonna break. You're gonna have it for forever. So even if you don't use it like every day, or if there's like a year or two that you go without using it, you keep it in the closet, and there's gonna be some use case in the future where you're like, oh my God, I have the perfect bag for this. Now, coming in at 85 bucks is the one that I have probably used personally the most. This is from Green Room 136. It's their Metro Monger, right? So it's like, it, it's like a hundred and, or what, how much, it's 80? bucks I literally looked it up and forgot it's 85 bucks right and that's in that's because these are made in Malaysia they're they're like in Malaysian ring dings they're 350 ring dings and then then when you buy with American dollars it is like 85 bucks okay more of that same compression strap slash uh, accessory lash straps you also have some accessory ability here and here for any Molly straps though I think if you did that your uh, look is getting a bit insane at that point. Like it's just like, it's a definitely a lot of looking. Okay, because look at this, uh, look at how we've got, this is like a, a, a sort of intense strap here. And one of the things I dislike about this strap is you've got all of this dangle, right? So once you get it, you're supposed to like, kind of like almost curl it around. Now it's in, now it's like where it needs to go. The good thing about it is very robust here. Feels nice and comfortable. Definitely you can sense the padding and the mesh on the back. So it is very comfortable and you feel locked in. All of these, I think almost all of these have the ability to do that sternum strap thing. I just have not needed it. Even in my like electric skateboarding around, I just haven't needed it. It's nice and tight. You rip this thing in, you feel good to go. Bada boom. Now, I like these sort of outdoor, the like, I don't know, the it's like kind of outdoorsy, kind of urban, kind of street aesthetic of this thing, I think is great. But I don't, I just kind of dislike how bulky this whole strap thing is. Though I do like that they're doing the same D-ring thing, right? So I can just quickly pull it tight and there we go. And then I can kind of just unclip it that way. And then I get it over here and let's see if we could do this all. Cause you get used to it, right? You get used to using these things. It becomes like a little bit of a, of a part of you. So I dig this guy for a lot of reasons. I think the look is okay and good. It's obviously bulky, um, but you've got a lot of organization, just a lot of space. This is like the perfect amount of space. If I can't fit it in here, I probably don't need to bring it. Okay, so on the front of the bag, you've got a little bit of organization in here. This is where I easily throw in my, my phone and my glasses and all that stuff that I wanna quickly be able to get. What's great about it is it has its own dimension, right? So you see how this, the panel for the main compartment is here. Then it's got another like inch or so of, of like fabric that just kind of flops around the outside. So whatever you put in there, it's not like super tight. Even if your center compartment's all packed out, like it's easy to get things in and out of this pocket. And you've got the, uh, the, the flap that goes over the front here. Like I've taken this to the river a bunch here in Portland and there's just sand everywhere, right? So I like putting my sort of tech delicates in there cause I've got that flap down there. You also have that flap on the main compartment, okay? Which I'll show you just in a second. Because let's go around to the back where you have another zipper. Now this is just like your laptop or tablet compartment. Obviously a regular old iPad, whatever the size this is fits in easily. Let's see if my 12 inch iPad Pro, it just does not fit. It's like right at the limitation. If I really wanted to, I can get it in, but I don't like, I don't like needing to have that much tightness there, right? So either that means an upgrade to this with another half an inch of, of it just, just like tall on it or just like maybe a little bit of uh, making the the this thing close in a different way so it's easier to get that 12 inch macbook pro in that would be great but at the same time you can get to the cafe with your macbook pro in there however it is a lot easier to get my macbook pro just into the main compartment and then shut it that way so i don't have as much padding i definitely feel that on the bottom of of the bag it's just exposed right there whereas down here there's some padding and that's probably why it doesn't fit quite as easily okay there is padding on that so like i think your third i don't know what like your 11 inch macbook airs or whatever would fit in there perfect i love their cordura uh not is that cordura not cordura no it's corduroy, corduroy, got confused there. I love the corduroy inside here. Corduroy is such a fun old school material. Like it feels so good. Okay, then you're inside this main compartment. There's a little place for your, um, 
your papers, your uh, 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 business papers, man. And then you've got two pouches up here, which could easily fit a MacBook charger, right? So like that's the size. I like these size of, of things, but then inside it's just massive. Look, my water bottle fits basically just standing up. Okay. So the ability for that is killer. Now here's another thing that I use. This is their camera case, like one of their like smaller camera cubes. And so I'll plot that right in there. Even if I'm not bringing my camera, I mean, typically if I'm bringing this, I am bringing my camera because it's got a little, I have it set up to just have a simple divider in there. That's one's perfect size for my camera. And then the other one I can throw in my like smoke sack. Is that what I'm calling that now? My smoke sack? I guess I am. And then I throw in my water bottle so you can get a sense of what's going on in there. And then if I wanted to, I could put my iPad Pro there just on the back of it. I mean, we're starting to get tight now, but it's still closable. And I haven't even touched the front of here where I'm gonna put all of this stuff. And I still have the back if I need any flat sort of stuff. But really, just with that, I've got a ton of gear that I can take around. By the way, if you're getting the iPad Pro, just go for the smaller one. This thing is... It's kind of nice, but man, it is just large. Okay, so the Metro Monitor, this is the one that I'm using in my personal kit most often. Um, I wish it was slightly easier to get my iPad Pro in because then I would do it all the time. Um, but uh, as it is, I just like the materials and the aesthetic and the feel of this a bit more than some of the other techie or sort of, uh, you know, tactically sort of vibe. Okay, speaking of techie, this is the Air Work Sling. All right, now, what I love about this is we got that Eddie Murphy raw sheen. Look at that. I'm like, I'm like blinding you with my shark skin sheen. Simple and thin. You see how thin this guy is? When we put it on, it just is like, it, it kind of hugs the back. It feels minimal, right? And that's, uh, that plays a big role in the aesthetics of this guy. By the way, the same sort of D-ring thing that was on the other air pouch and, and basically all the, all the pouches up to now. Okay, so what I mean by the thinness it plays a role in the aesthetics is, is when you carry this big old Metro monger or the Peaks sling around, it really is saying a lot bringing this, right? It's a, it's a very, it's like a statement. Whereas on this, the statement that's being made is almost about the minimal simplicity of it. No zippers out here on the front. It's just like a simple shell on your back. So we've got a main back compartment for our laptop, which my iPad Pro just fits so perfectly in. Like it's easy. Let's see if I, I mean, I wonder if my, my MacBook could even fit in there. My MacBook Pro 15 inch is just too big. It's just too big, which is probably for the better. So that means all of you 13 inch MacBook Pro people are stoked because you could easily, well, I think, check their website. I imagine you can easily get that in there. All right, and then on top of that pouch, you just have a bunch of organization, okay? It's just, you can see there's some space in here so you could fit your sweater or something. You could throw in my water bottle, which fits vertically. All right, I've got my smoke sack, which goes in there. I can't believe that's what we're calling that. My phone and my notebook can go in here as well as my glasses, right? I could even fit my camera in there and I just don't have it in a case, but I could probably fit it in a little case. Okay, so my water bottle doesn't quite fit, at least not on the edges. Let me see, just so you get a sense of the size here. Um, if I put it in the middle, if there's a way, no, it looks like it's not going to. So my water bottle is gonna have to go sideways in there to fit. Now, a lot of you don't carry the water bottle and this is why I brought up that point in the very beginning. What makes a good sling is, totally dependent on what you need to be slanging. Cannot believe I just finished that sentence that way, but that's what is happening right now, apparently. So here's that sling, that tech, the air work sling with all of that stuff in it, all right? It's, it's nice. It fits it all. It's super minimal. Again, I am 5'10", 190 pounds, okay? This is like, you know, it's a thing. I'm sure you guys can barely see what's going on. You'll just have to deal with it. I mean, I can barely see what's going on. Here's the deal about this one. It definitely has more of a diagonal sort of vibe. Because both of these, these straps are on the top, that doesn't go like across. It's all, it almost feels like it wants to be carried like, like this instead of over the shoulder. But uh, you carry it over the shoulder and here's what it looks like 
It feels comfortable, it feels nice, maybe a little less locked in, just cause you can sense this corners out here. And so it's a little like, it's a little askance on your body. And yes, I did just say askance. Okay, so the Air Work Sling comes in at 80 bucks. All right, I'll put links to this and all the others in the description below. And I do have to say what I love so much about this one is how easily my iPad Pro fits in there. That is like, you don't wanna have to be finagling and, and, and negotiating that every time you put it in there, like with your computer or with your, la or with your iPad or something like that. You wanna be able to get stuff in and out easily. You want it to fit perfectly. So um, this has that going for it and then the minimalness, but it doesn't have the best feel because I just think, I'm curious as to why they didn't attach this down here so you could just do the crossbody thing and have it like feel more like jet packy. Okay, how we doing, all right? We doing good? We're just about to switch into what I call like our smaller things, like our smaller slings, all right? Now we're getting into the realm of the fanny pack. Oh, if you are so inclined the bum bag. Wait, not quite yet. We're gonna wait on the fanny packs for one more. This is a brand new one from Funk Street. The guy just reached out to me. Uh, he's making a solid thing. Now look at this. Check this little, little lookout on me. All right, this is a kind of a technical bag. It's got lots of pockets. It's a nice little size. This is like very, you know, very, I don't know, there's something kind of stylish about the size of it. The size is really the aesthetic on this bag. It's obviously minimal black. It's got this nice like sort of ripstop hexagon weave going on in here. And for those of you who know, look at this clip. Does this look familiar? This is the same as on the Boundary Supply Prima. It's magnets. How do they work? Okay, so. Uh, on the on the bag outside of that strap, there's nothing there's nothing else that you can get into. Now our we do not have that like D like fast release thing, so you're probably gonna have this looser than the others. But because it's smaller, it doesn't really matter. And getting it on and off, like by the way, I've learned that the secret here is you use your left hand to do this because then when you clip it, your hand is on this guy. That's a little. <laughs> That's a little lesson from the road from Papa Revo, okay? So getting it on and off, you're gonna be doing that and then clipping that together and then in we go. So the only way in is through the magnet. Watch out for the magnets. Now you're inside and it's like, dude, this thing's got some chops. This thing's like kind of like got a lot of things going on. Now um, for my iPad right here, it fits perfectly. So this pouch, this guy's made for the iPad. So for those of you who are like, oh, I'll open up Flipboard and just look at all the news that's got. Oh, look, there's, I'm so up to date. Look at those things. Oh, this is terrific. I'm such a good consumer of content. This thing is perfect, right? You get in there, you do that. Even if it had like the, I don't know if you, if these guys, this size has the like MacBook or the iPad Pro uh, cover that has like the case or the, the keyboard on it. The that thing is killer, because then you've got your keyboard and that. As it is, like you could throw a keyboard in here with this, but then you'll need a stand as well and all that stuff. I can't do emails just on the iPad. I just don't do that. And then I'm basically at like, why am I doing this instead of my phone? I'll just use my phone. But it's got that nice, uh, got that nice thing there. You've got a little bit, you've got like two inches about of of padding outside, or not padding, but capacity outside of that. And then there are, there is a couple like little tech organize pouchy type things in there. And then you have the pockets on the front. All of them have water resistant, water sealed zips. And these guys are just, they're just, you know, that's it. That's what you're looking at. You're looking at a place to put your stuff, right? So it's like perfect for your phone. It's like exactly my iPhone X size with a little bit of width, with a little bit more left on the, on e either edge of it. Okay, so what's interesting to me about this is I think it would be hard for my style because all my stuff's just a little bit thicker than this. For instance, I can't get my laptop in like basically anyway on this guy, but my camera and then throwing my notebook and my, and my, uh, and my phone in there, glasses over here. I've got my Bluetooth headphones 
in there and then my smoke pouch, like I can get it easily, right? And then here's all of it on there. And now I can, I've got it all, which is great, you know, it's cool. But once we start packing this out and it gets fatter, it starts to look a little less cool to me. It starts to look a little more, I don't know, a little more moofy or something like that. Moofy is a technical term here, meaning, uh, and I don't like it when my bag looks a little, uh, right? So you can see that like, the way that it that it kind of moves around. So if you're packing it out with bigger stuff, wouldn't really recommend it. But if you're like just an iPad and some minimal things going on, like this thing is pretty dope. Okay, this is from Funk Street. I'll put a link to this in the description below at this time code. Ah, one more before we start hitting some of my fannies. Um, okay, this one is from <laughs> like at Low Pro. I'm not even gonna look up what it is. I got this years and years ago. The truth is, it's just an utterly simple bag with just a little like latch like that. And then inside they had this like pouch for protecting your camera. It's just this. And then you have a zippered thing in the back here. Like that's it with two two pouches up front and like, a, and like a couple pen slots right here. I got this years ago to be my camera bag. And the truth is it's still my favorite kind of camera bag. I just throw it on and you've got like, it's, the, it's a nice size. It's just a little guy, it's soft, but there's some padding in there. So even if you don't use this thing to wrap up your camera or gear, it still feels good. And by feels good, I mean your stuff's still kind of, you know, protected. So I can throw my camera in here just like so. I've got my smoke sack, which I'll just toss in there. Some phone and, and notebook stuff. Glasses up here throwing my Bluetooth headphones in there and I still haven't even used the zipper compartment in the back, right? But then you just lock this thing in. Now I've got everything I need in a little guy. I do not have an iPad or anything like that, but what I like about this is it's just really classic, minimal, floppy kind of aesthetic. There's nothing much to it, okay? Can you literally see anything about the size of this? I apologize because of the black on the black and then just like, I don't know, I'm not gonna move lights around my, I'm just a busy dad. But like then you can kind of switch it around the front, you can get into it, you can get your stuff. So I mean this thing is, another thing that's great about this is you can pack this into a travel bag so easily because when everything's out of it, there's literally nothing to it. It's just a piece of fabric. So when everything's out of it, you can just pack this away into a travel bag. You could use this as a kind of a packing cube for like throwing clothes and stuff in there. And then when you get to your destination, if you need it, if you wanna use it, you've got this as a little carrier while you're there. I'll, I'll do some research and find a link to this or something like it and put it in the description below. I have no idea if they're still making this. All right, we're finally getting into the fanny packs and we're coming to a close here. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, six of these little guys left, okay? Just bear with me if you want to see all my lovely fanny packs and a couple more text links. Okay, this one's from Mystery Ranch, okay? The interesting thing about this is it's actually too fat to be a fanny pack for me. I mean, this thing is like a massive, I love the fanny pack because I like it, I like to be hands-free. I love to be hands-free, but I'll tell you what I don't like. I don't like it when it looks this, you know, this sort of like, this is way too, this is just a lot. I always typically have my fanny pack around like this with my shirt kind of coming down in the front and a little bit you could see in the back. Now this is just too, this is just a too intense of a thing. It's way too, there's too much fanny in my pack. But that's fine because you could still use any fanny pack as a sling, right? Any good old fanny pack you could use like this. Of course you do have to manage and mind the, uh, the this thing going on, right? So I'll make this one as long as possible and this one as short as possible. And then I can, you know, I can at least sort of figure it from there. Not my favorite here from Mystery Ranch, not having a, uh, a way to manage those cables. I'll have to get a little piece of elastic myself and put it on there. Okay, and then when it's on like this, what's great is you got, you got an interesting little like sort of uh, outdoorsy, technical outdoorsy bag that you can, that you, you know, you're sort of signaling, hey, I'm a little tech, I'm a little outdoors, I'm a little like, let's get lost. Now this one's, this one's fairly simple. Big pouch right here, little zipper on the front, okay? They sent me one in, in purple, which I just think is adorable. And then a little zipper on the inside, 
okay? What's great about Mystery Ranch is they really know how to make shit, so this thing's not gonna fall apart, but it wasn't gonna fall apart anyways, because it's not like we're like super hard on these things. You got some mesh against the back and a little handle. Now with this guy, you can just barely fit in this, uh, this camera cube from Green Room 136, which is great because then you got like, you got a little dimension here. You got a little, you got a little padding in there for your camera. You can really throw things around. So if, if I really wanted to go smaller than the Metro Monger, then I would, I could go with this thing and have a minimal amount of stuff in there, but it, it's, it's like what I need. Now this flat pocket on the front, when it's all packed out, this flat pocket's kind of no bueno because it does not have its own dimension built into it. So whatever you're throwing in there is gonna be a little harder to get out, but it is a nice little place where you have to put more stuff. And then you do have these compression straps along the front of the bag, which allow you to pull in any sort of, you know, leftover stuff. Anyways, I'm not gonna go too deep on this. I'll put a link in the description below if you want a big old floppy doppy fanny for your sling. I mean, I gotta say that it's got like water resistant zips. It's really made well. It's got like kind of an interesting aesthetic if you're wanting to do that classic outdoorsy look. So I love Mystery Ranch. I love the things that they make. I love how they make them. Um, definitely respect this company a ton. Look at this little Air Day Sling. This is the Air Day Sling 2, okay? Now, just a simple pouch here and then a pocket, a flat pocket around the back with lots of little tech organization these stuff in there, trying to get the light in there for you to see. Little like boarding pass area, little like, I don't know exactly how you'd use this thing, but basically if you need to like, if you need a sling for your dongles, like this thing's killer because here's why. It just is like nothing. Look at the size of it. It's just this tiny little thing. You'll barely notice when it's on you. You've got what you need, right? Now for me, the bummer is that like, like I always like to be able to fit at least this little Fuji X100T in here. And there's not a great way to do it. It, it can fit, but it's like basically in the middle of that front pouch is where it fits. So if I was just putting my camera in here and then like maybe my phone and a notebook, this would be great. But when I'm bringing my camera, I might as well have my water bottle. I might as well have my smoke sack. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like I like to have all the things that I need. This is cute and killer, um, but it's just not quite the right size for me. There's one more pocket, by the way, on the back here, which is just like for your, <laughs> for your boarding pass, I guess. Kind of interesting little secret hideaway thing. The good thing about this is it's really well made, even with my camera in there just as it is, like it feels feels protected. It feels like like the thickness, the double layer of this material with the, they're normally using 1680D ballistic nylon. Like it just, it has a nice, it has a nice feel to it. And it looks, it's got a nice size. So with my camera on there, you can see it's just like, it's just a nice, minimal, like little nothing to it kind of size, which is nice. You just got everything you need to get to the bar. You're like, hey guys, how's it going? And you can put your little man purse down, but it doesn't look like a, like a, it doesn't look super pursy. Like it's a nice little, it's a nice little sling. So the Air Day Sling, I'll put a link in the description to this guy below. This is sort of interesting. Look at this look. This has that like, <laughs> sort of like, I don't know. Looks like it could be fancy, sexy, Sexy underwear for gay dudes. I don't know. I like this. This is the good something something uh, fanny pack. It's a fanny pack, all right, and it's large. Gay dudes get all the good underwear. Have you noticed that, by the way? Have you gone into like an under you for men in Portland? We have under you for men and a couple of my friends. Some of my friends work there and they just like the fucking the undies that gay dudes get are the best. Like they take it so seriously. And honestly, we'd all do well to think a little bit more about like accessorizing our, you know, our undercarriage. Speaking of accessorizing, so here's this guy, right? It just clips on, it's a big guy, there's not much to it. There's a zipper on the back for a flat pocket, there's your main pocket inside, and then there's a zipper inside of that with some mesh. Don't need to go much more into it. Some of you are gonna be into that look and the size, others of you are gonna be like, next please. The thing is about a size like this is, um, is I think it looks it looks okay as a sling, right? So it looks like it doesn't look that bad. It's kind of like like it's kind of nice, but it feels really big as a bum bag, right? So you put it on like this, and it's like massive, but it does 
you know, I don't know. It does hang kind of kind of loose and contours to the body much more than the than the um, the mystery ranch one, right? Because I'll show you why it's flat. Okay, so you got that flatness in it, but you can pack it out and put stuff in it. Okay, it's light, very minimal fabric, and it has an interesting aesthetic. But you can you can fit a camera in there, and you can see just so you can see that like that like how circular the lens is right there. Just shows you how thin this material is. Okay, the fanny pack from Good. Check that out in link in the description below. Okay, I got three more, and the final one I'm saving my favorite for the last. Here is the, the Heim Planet Tech Sling uh, from their Transit series, all right? So, one of the things is no clips on this, all right? It's just, it's just a very lightweight, sort of thin, uh, like nice feeling thing, but there's no clipping to get it off. I wish there was, cause I think this would make a great little fanny pack. I think that is like totally interesting dad bag style. Interesting thing on here, you've got this tiny little teeny tiny pocket that has this felt lined thing in here. So you could actually just take your glasses out of the case and shove them in there. As it is, my glasses case does not fit. So it would need to be out of the case and into there. Then you've just got one zipper that goes around the outside here. And you've got just some simple, minimal organization inside. Can you see this? Can you see what's going on in here? You probably can't. What we have is a zipper right here. Okay, screw it. Let's turn the whole bag in, <laughs> inside out. Okay, so on one side you have a zipper with two elastic dojobbies right there. And then on the other side, you have just two elastic bits that go right here. So it's like, you know, camera battery size type of thing. So when you turn that inside out, Obviously, those are what's inside. Now, for me, the ca the test is always, can I fit my camera, and then how does it fit, or how does it feel in there? I can fit it, and then the material on this from their transit line is really, not only is it like eco-friendly, but it is very, it's got a nice like padding protection quality to it. So, as a little place to just throw my camera and a pen and a notebook or something like that, this is pretty killer. In terms of these like day slings, these like tech day slings, this one is the only one that doesn't have a clip on it. And I kind of am on the fence about that. Part of me likes how thin, minimal, and simple that whole thing is. And then another part of me just wants it to actually have a clip so I could use it as a bum bag because I just like, why, why not? So the High Planet Transit Sling, I'll put a link to the description in the description below. Now check this little guy out from North Street in Portland, Oregon. This is basically one of my favorite looking fanny packs, right? The bummer is that the way, bum, you got it, the bum bag, bummer, the bummer is, the way that they're attaching the strap, the, the hip strap to this thing, feels a little bit of a bummer to me. I like the hip strap and how it, how it adjusts, but to pull it up here for you, this just feels like even when I've got the hip strap real tight, this has a little bit of floppy doppiness to it precisely because it's just attached in kind of a, a, a like a not a very robust way. And let me clarify, by robust, I don't mean it's gonna fall off ever, right? It's very, it's very, <laughs> it actually is very robustly put on, but it's not, um, it's not, it's not attached in such a way as to keep it from flopping. So that's one of my little bummers, but one of the things about these guys is they make bags that are simple and effective, okay? So they were going for an op, they were like, they're like, this is how we're doing it. It's simple and effective. I would have probably sewn like more of a sleeve into that so that the whole back of this thing uh, is, it, it, like this is sliding through the entire back of the bag. Now, what I love about this little pouch is, is it's just got, it's got a main compartment here. There's actually Velcro up against this side. So I think they've got some accessories that you can get for that. And then just a little front pouch right here, which doesn't have, uh, anyways, doesn't have any organization or anything inside. Just simple and big and roomy. Though inside there is a zippered compartment that you can zip. I literally borrowed this from my barista friend who uses this as her like literal everyday purse effectively. Women are loving using fanny packs and, and pouches like this as purses because like, wait, it's more stylish and interesting than, than a typical purse. Obviously more like dressed down um, and less fancy, but uh, 
I look at that. I mean, so that's with my camera in there. It fits perfectly. I love the dimension on this. This to me is like the perfect size of a fanny pack, and I like it. The materials feel good. Um, just simple Cordura, and uh, and there's not many frills or thrills to it. I also think the colors that she chose are gorgeous. So check out the fanny packs from North Street, handmade here in Portland, Oregon, just down the street from me. Okay, now finally, the piece de resistance. This has been the one that I've been using every single day for the last little while. Now look at this, this is actually small. All this carries for me is uh, just a few things, I'll show you exactly what, but the reason why I love this, it's made from track, which is handmade stuff in Scotland, gorgeous materials. This wax canvas is by far one of my favorite, most interesting. I just love wax canvas. This can get a little rigid when it's cold and it can get a little oily when it's hot, like in the sun. So your mileage may vary on if you like that or not. Um, I dig it. It's got these great little zipper pulls that uh, that close up these AquaGuard sealed zippers. So I'm sort of protected from the water there because I've got the wax in the canvas so the water ain't penetrating. Then there's a zippered compartment on the back here and that's where I throw my, uh, my notebook with a little pen and typically have a few weed gummies just hanging out in there just, you know, in case an afternoon session breaks out. And then I throw my smoke pouch right in there and that is like, that's basically it. That with a couple crystals, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think of this? Isn't this ridiculous? I literally do, like I'll have some crystals, I work with tobacco and um, and do some sort of ceremonies and, and like work with the crystals and I'm just experimenting. Nothing yet to report fully, okay? And then I've got this little guy and it goes on like a so. Now we're using tracks buckle system, which I've gotten used to. It's metal, so it's never gonna break on you. And basically you just get used to shoving this little guy, like just threading that little guy through the wide thing. And now it's on. It's on like a donkey cow. And I've got my fanny pack with me wherever I go. It's very discreet, okay? So it's just back there, literal bum bag, all right? So again, a little fanny pack. This is sort of my jam. I I dig this because it's got all those things that I, li I like to have from time to time. You never know when it's perfect time to take a little break. And then when it is time to take a little break, you just open up there. I get this little pouch out. This is from Abel Carey. It's made with their like diamond, uh, diamond ripstop thing. It's just a simple guy. I open this up. I grab my pipe. I'm working with my tobacco. I've got my little lighter with my little metal like scraper attached to it. I got a lot, I got a lot of kit, you guys. I got a lot of kit. But it all fits in this little pouch and it fits perfectly right inside there. I've been loving using this track because I like great materials, okay? And that is what I that's what I like. Okay, I can't believe you survived. If you're still watching up to now, most of you are probably interested in just the bags in the beginning. So hopefully you got what you needed out of this and you get a sense of like, oh, I could actually live out of and work out of on a daily basis, one of these slings, or use it as one of those like, <laughs> you know, what do they call those things? The, the bug out bags, like a tech bug out bag for when I just want to head to the cafe with a minimal supply of stuff and get some email done. I've introduced you to a bunch of my favorites. Here's the thing. I uh, I will be collecting these things over time and I'll be making a list of what my favorite ones are at a blog post. So look in the, in the link in the description below and I will for sure be updating that with more fanny packs, slings and things like that that I think are like you need to know about. That's it for me right now. Like I said, please use the link in the description. If you do purchase, it's like a, it's like a boon to me. But if you don't, no worries. Uh, no harm, no foul. Big love to you guys. Make, you know, get your, your, your traveling. This thing to me, this is, this has led to more insight and more notes in my journal about like what's going on in my life what do i want getting into my intention and figuring out what's like how do i like how do i love my wife more how do i get into my relationship with my son even more that stuff matters a ton to me and this is a little bag that's been with me through a lot of that right so what we carry matters and how we carry matters and uh so you know why don't you keep mattering talk to you guys later love you bye bye Bagworks.co JaceReeves.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Must to, hmm. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.